Hey everyone, Evil Spirit here with a tier list video. Ugh, my computer, I don't know if it likes it, but I don't care. So today I am doing a tier list over Plants vs. Zombies Plants for the bonus video because one of the bonus videos or one of my videos I said that I wanted to do a tier list for a bonus video so that's what I'm doing so we're gonna start with pea shooter uh, uh, pea shooter is a good B um, I'm gonna actually add in a S add a row below I'm going to just hurry up and add an S real quick. Because there are plants that are F. In my opinion. Now we're going off by situational. As well. Like how how bad of a situation can these guys help? So pea shooter is kind of like B. Maybe C. Like for like a beginning plant he ain't that bad. Uh, maybe D honestly. Because... You don't use him a lot. You only use it a few times. Uh, like, for example, you use him in the beginning of the game. Uh, and then, like, later on you get stuff like repeaters and ice peas. And, you know, it, it doesn't really help the case with pea shooter, sadly. Because it doesn't do too much. Like, outside of it's the first plant you get, there ain't much you can really do else with it. The next plant I'm gonna the next plant I'm gonna bring up is where is it? Sunflower. Sunflower's B. Um, and then I guess we'll go into our uh, first upgraded plant. Double sunflower S. Now sunflower on its own is fine, good price, whatever. Double sunflowers are the best. Like when it comes to sun production. Like, people would say, oh, but it's not that good. It's perfect for its, like, main draw being it does double the sun. It's really powerful when it comes to sun production. It just costs 150 And with the already added in sunflower here, you don't really, you shouldn't really spend that much. Okay. Next, we are going to go over Cherry Bomb. Cherry Bomb's a good C. Cherry Bomb does a lot around, but I always forget that it's there. It doesn't do too much, and like compared to the other plants that you get later on, like early game is fine. Uh, the stage it, you get it on already had three rows, and then later on you don't get too much with it. Uh, like yeah, sometimes like Gargantuars, it helps a lot during Gargantuars, but there's better plants out there that help deal with Gargantuars. Alright, next, I believe, is Walnut, which is also C. I think a lot of people like Walnut because, you know, it's Walnut, um, you get it for stage, but there's already a better alternative, but it's not an upgrade. Um, it's cool whenever it's like the beginning stages, you know, a lot of these plants are good for beginning stages. But way later, you get way cooler stuff. But it's pretty good um, during the beginning, you know, down the middle for me. C's like the middle. I know D and F right here. F's the worst. D's like eh, almost bad. But like, you know, situation, uh, not situational. Whatever. Okay. Chomper. Wait, no, it's Ice P. Ice P is C. C or B. I'm going to put them in B. Now, I'm going to say one thing. I don't care for the Ice P for a few reasons. Like, not, not like, too much. Like, I would even, I would put them in C. My reason is, it does as much damage as a Pea Shooter, but it slows them down, right? Well, by that logic, if you like it because they slow it down, there is a way better plant for that. Like, I know you don't get it till way, way later. But, like, you get it, like, near the very end. Like, actually, I think it's, like, the last stage before Zomboss. But, 
if we're comparing them all together, it's better for what it is. Like, better for... It's better if it was, like, uh, you get it, like, in the beginning stages, and then, like, yeah, just, you just get it for the beginning stages, but it's 175. If I want that, I'd go for another plant that we'll talk about, about here in a second. Chomper, A tier. I know a lot of people don't like Chomper, especially competitive-wise, uh, but Chomper does its job. That's why it's C. <laughs> it it's fine. It has very short range. It's it's nothing special. It it's one of those plants where it's like very like oh well I already have a walnut in front of it and I have spikes, you know it's like it's pretty situational. It's nothing like like it's it's not very situational. It's more like you have to have everything for it. So that's why, sadly. It's just C. I'd even go and say it's D. But to me, I still like it a lot. And last for like the morning, uh, like the day level plants. Repeater. Repeater is A. Repeater is 200 sun, which is already better than the price of the ice pea. Because the ice pea only freezes. He shoots twice and it does more damage. So it's automatically better than whenever, like you can use it against bucketheads. It's perfect. The upgraded plant, the Gatling P, S tier. I don't care. It is perfect for what it represents. You just need this and uh, torch wood. It's perfect. It's legitimately perfect. Like, yeah, P shooter wasn't the best, but yeah, it's awesome. It, it's awesome that repeater came, and then you can get this as well with it. These two actually come together pretty well what the fuck? oh crap hold on let me turn off something bye girl okay anyways it's whatever it's a pretty good plant i mean it's a good plant it's a perfect plant especially if you're someone like me and love plants like that anyways now let's go on to the night Pushrooms, they are perfect for what they do. They're a C tier. They're cheap. They do they charge really quick. And they're awesome. They are the most perfect plant for the night levels. But they're like in my opinion, they don't do enough damage. But they're free. They're good like just to kind of put out there. They're C. In my opinion. Sunshroom. Is also C. Sunshroom is only good at night levels. I never use them in the day. I don't think anybody would. They're only good at night, and people just use sunflower anyways. I don't. I use them both together, but I think sunflower is better because you get the double. It just takes longer to charge at night, so I plant these two together. I never plant. I never try planting these alone. It's either sunflower or both of them. Never sunshroom. Just sunshine, you know. Maybe I did in my playthrough and I just kind of forgot, but whatever. Next. Fuse room. Fuse room is A. It's upgrade. It's S. It is, in my opinion, the perfect plant that uh, fume shrooms upgrade is the perfect plant. I forgot what it's called, but... It is the, I'm, I'm going to stress this again, it is the perfect plant. You are targeting eight directions. Eight directions. It does a lot of damage, especially all together. It does a lot of damage. It's expensive, yes, but I think it's worth it. It's perfect in the back for the uh, Gravedigger zombies. It's perfect for the front. Like, just, like, in the pool, like, just shooting in all directions. It shoots forward, it shoots backwards, it shoots side to side. It's perfect. The fume room itself, it's good. I would say, honestly, it's probably a B tier. But, it has a good range. And I love it. It's awesome. I'm glad that they put it in the game. Alright, now I'm gonna have to make a new tier. Called... 
situ uh, not called situational, but not gonna count. And I'll tell you why it's not gonna count. Grave digger does not count. I mean, grave buster. I keep calling it grave digger. Uh, lily pad, flower pot. These aren't gonna count. They are only used for either planting on or destroying one thing. So they're not gonna count for this tier list. All right. Okay. Now that we got that all out of the way. Next. I think it's Hypnos Room, right? I feel like it's. I think it was Hypnos Room. Hypnos Room. F. I know a lot of people like Hypnos Room, and it has a lot of good stuff going for it. It's nothing special. It's bad. Because it gets crushed by other plants like for example i mean other zombies like zomboni and gargantuar only like the michael jackson zombie decay dancing zombie and the all these other zombies that eat it you only get like probably a football player but going up against a gargantuar it's nothing it's it's literally like only used for one level because they want to try it out and then never used again it is not good very very bad in my opinion it's nothing like i would ever use ever scaredy shroom i say it's d the price well actually no i put it at c the price is good it does pretty good damage but when a zombie gets up to it or a zombie's like right here on the row you're screwed you can't do anything about it it's just gonna hide and you're done Ice Shroom, also C. Putting a lot of plants in C. But this one has a pretty good reason. It freezes up the entire stage. Awesome. Cool. I like it just for that. It gives you a minute to breathe. I'd say it's B tier, honestly. I know I keep changing my mind, but hey, this is improv. Ice Shroom freezes stuff, and it's pretty useful for that. It's useful during the Dr. Zomboss fight, but it's nothing special. It's nothing special. It's good. It's awesome, in my opinion. It's pretty cool. But it's nothing where I'm going to be like, Ice Room! I gotta use Ice Room! And also, um, there's a better ice plant that will be brought up later. Doom Shroom! A! No, I'm just joking. It's B. I'll tell you why. It leaves a crater. If it didn't leave a crater, it'd be good. But it wipes out everybody on screen. I would say it's A, because it just wipes everything out on screen. Bam! Done! Don't worry about it ever again. Yeah, you're you're right. I don't gotta worry about it ever again. For a while, until like the next wave. But now I have a hole in the ground. I gotta wait for Earth to heal itself. And yeah, that's my only problem with it. Other than that, good plant. Next plant. Is... Oh, I guess it was Lily Pad, and then there's Cattails, Cattails S. I don't think I have to explain myself. Perfect, uh, like, beginning plant, even. Like, if you plant that, you already got, like, some zombies getting killed while you build up your sun. Perfect for that. It shoots anywhere. Uh, sometimes it'll be a little off course, but hey, you know, it's great. It takes out balloon zombies so you don't have to use a blover. It's good. It's really good. It's really good. Next is squash. Squash is probably a B. It's one use. It's 50 sun. It's pretty good at its job. It can take out like more than just one zombies. I think it can take up to like probably four. I think. I don't know. Probably two. Two, three, four. I'm around that. I, I would say it's A on the count of it's perfect for what it does. But nah, screw it. It's, it's A. Okay. Now nah, let's just keep it at B. All right. I think next is kelp. Kelp is also F. Just use a squash. You, you're planting down a lily. Like, I know a lot of people are like, well, it's good for dolphin zombies. So is a squash. So is a tall nut. Which tall nut is S. Tall nut is the best defense you can have in the game other than pumpkin. But if you have pumpkin on it, it's perfect. Which we'll go over pumpkin later. Kelp sucks. Tall nut's better. 
Because Tall Nut, they'll just fall. Like, literally, Kelp is not the worst plant ever. There's a horrible plant later. Um, I, I guess I'll also have to put Coffee Bean down and it's not going to count because, I mean, then it'd be S because it wakes up the mushrooms. I just noticed that, sorry. But, yeah, it's just not that good. I never use Kelp. Other than, like, sometimes I'll just bring it just in case, and I rarely use it, and I rarely, and I rarely remember I have it. Okay. Next is Jalapeno. Jalapeno's S. It, it does a lot. It clears out an entire row. It's great against Gargantuars. You don't gotta worry about it whenever, you know, it's like, oh, Gargantuar. Oh, wait. Bam! Yeah. Awesome. Perfect. One of the, one of the best plants. Just saying. Torchwood, A. Torchwood is good for the Gatling. It, it, and I know people would be like, that, that should be not going to count. No. Here's where I get you. That's actually used to help defeat zombies, and it's used as light, kind of. But there's another plan for that. But I do think A here is good for Torchwood. Does a lot of good stuff. Has a lot of good things going for it. Three Peter. See, the cost is way too high. I know it takes out three rows. It's pretty good sometimes, but it just ain't that good in my opinion. I'm sorry. I know a lot of people are going to be like, what? What? No. Yeah, I'm sorry, but that's just the truth in my opinion. Cry about it. <laughs> sorry. Uh, next, we have Spike Weed. Spike Weed's B. It has a lot of good stuff going for it. But then you got Spike Rock, which is S. This is one hit kill. That's like four hits or three hits, I think. I think it's three hits. Three hits, and this one only takes one. Just saying. All right. And I think that is... Oh, I forgot Potato Mine. Potato Mine's great. A is a great beginning plant. My bad, Potato Mine. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. After that, we go into one of the worst plants of all time. You know how I was praising Puff Shroom for being a great plant? It was perfect in every way for what it could have been. F. That plant doesn't do too much. I'm going to put you down in B with your little brother. But it is F. And I will tell you why. So slow of a recharge. It does barely any damage to the zombies in the water. You might as well just put out a lily pad. And it's only good at night only time it's so situational it doesn't even have a situation simple as that plantern d it does a job fine but it can be eaten so easily but blover got you covered because blover's great but i think cattail's better no wait sorry it's not blover it's cactus which is f it's only used for balloon zombies. There's nothing else it does. It extends sometimes. It doesn't do too much damage. I do like it for what it does of just shooting down the balloon zombies. But other than that, it ain't good. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Blover is B. Because at least with Blover, it's near perfect. It's near perfect other than Cattail. Because Blover can blow away the fog, blow away the zombies. Great. Plantern and Cactus only does one of those two things. Blover does them both. There. Cat Cattails only does one, but Cattails in the water and targets the zombies. So that's why it's S. Split P. D. It's cool because, like, yeah, it helps defeat the zombies in the back. But you already got this. Perfect. Perfection. This is like if you only have that. And then you got Starfruit! Starfruit B! I like Starfruit. 
because that one shoots in five directions, just like this, but it's eight. This is five, and it shoots pretty far. You don't do that. It even shoots backwards. Crazy. Crazy. Pumpkin. S. I think I'm going to stick with my opinion that it's perfect in almost every way with the tall map. Okay. I know a lot of people are going to want to kill me after this. But hey, let's keep going. Magnet Shroom. Magnet Shroom is A. It's really good to get away these buckets and stuff. And Gold Magnet can go with it. It's only for gold. Mary Gold is not going to count. Neither is Mac. The, those two aren't going to count. They're only for money. So it's like, if you plant them, that's your own doing. Alright, we're on our final six. That we're going to talk about. These are all plant level. Lettuce Pulse. B. Same with Colonel Pulse. Good because it does a lot of damage. I mean, it does a, a few da it does damage. This is good because it can freeze the enemy sometimes. Sounds fair, right? Okay. But this. Colonel Pulse is so OP. I'm just going to say that. I'm just going to put these guys in order. I'm going to talk about them. Does so much damage. That's what I think these guys do. Here. Does so much damage. It's like a cherry bomb. But it says, you actually remember, because it's a free cherry bomb. It's only five, It's only 700 sun. Because you got to plant two of these. And then you got to plant that behemoth on it. It's perfect. It's perfect. It has no bad signs. I mean, if it gets eaten, yeah, it's bad. And you can't place a pumpkin. But it's still good. It's still really good. Umbrella Leaf. I should also put this in not going to count because it doesn't really do too much. But hey, it's A. I like the design. That's really why. No, I'm joking. The real reason is it's perfect as in it doesn't suck. It's perfect in the fact of you don't have to worry about umbrella zombies. You don't have to worry about kernel pole. I mean, like catapults. It's perfect for the back. Like, it clears up three rows and it protects your sunflowers. Garlic is C. I like it a tiny bit, but whenever you've got something like any of the t plants, even in this list, that I would think is better. It's only good just to, like, make a zombie go somewhere else. And it's also good for, like, a money farm. Melon Pulse. S. And the best frozen plant is also S. And then Imitator ain't gonna count. Because, I mean, it just clones. Melon Pulse 